It is Tuesday the 19th of March. Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us as we track high pressure moving over the South Island at the moment and it's making way for a proper autumn weather pattern. Just a reminder that tomorrow Wednesday is the autumn equinox at exactly 4.06pm for the mainland of New Zealand and after that moment, basically in the weeks ahead, you're going to notice that the nights become longer than the days and that is basically the end of summer for this year anyway. Well, it comes back at the end of the year, so don't be too dark. Um, here is the high pressure zone over us at the moment. Cold morning this morning for inland parts of the South Island. And for the North Island, a bit of a breezy south to southeasterly wind, which makes it a bit cloudier, some showers to the north here, but sunnier if you're inland and further to the west. It's a busy weather map at the moment. Low pressure zones all up in the tropics, ex-cyclone Megan now inland, another possible cyclone off to the west coast. You've also got in here a cold front and a stormy system in the southern ocean and more high pressure. So real autumn variety now in our weather pattern. So that's a good thing. If you need rain, then you want variety. You don't want it to be a repetitive pattern of dry like we've been seeing. So let's try and make sense of that high pressure zone. This is the next 48 hours from Tuesday tonight. Uh, and you can see the high sort of slips off the country. Still holds on a little bit to the North Island by the time we get to Thursday evening. But this is a low pressure zone coming through here with a weak front attached to it. And that will move up to central New Zealand by Friday. Might bring just a little bit of relief for the dry parts of central New Zealand. Nelson in particular, Marlborough a little more borderline, Wided Upper and Wellington also a bit borderline, but some chances in there. You can drill down deeper with our website uh, and our app to sort of see what the rainfall is like for you. Before that low comes in, you've got a few showers along the eastern side of the North Island, and then as that front comes in on Thursday, a little bit of rain there, not big totals. As you can see, we're only talking about five to 10 maybe 15 millimetres in parts of the west coast. So this is not a big rain event at all. So Wednesday's setup sees those showers out to the east as we just talked about, and a couple of showers maybe around Greymouth as the high drifts away to the southeast. Cold front comes in for Australia, goes right up to Sydney, and it gets quite cold for parts of Tasmania. By Thursday, that system moves further over to the South Island. You can see that small area of low pressure in there. But as I said before, high pressure still somewhat over the North Island on Thursday, kind of helps block it, keeps it away for now anyway. As we get into Friday, that's when we've got a chance of some wet weather coming in to some of these dry parts of the Upper South Island. The low is just in the right spot to kind of push some of that rain back around due to the cyclonic airflow at the middle of it. So spins around like that, helps to pull back some of that rain into Nelson, into Marlborough. But look, as you can see, the pale blue shading means this is only five to 10 millimeters at best. You might up in the hills get a little higher. So we're just trying to lower expectations, but at the same time, give you a little bit of a silver lining that there is a bit of wet weather on the way. For the western side of the North Island, that front comes in during the afternoon, a few showers, brief bit of rain. It doesn't look like it's gonna be sticking around too long. We've got a few showers around on Saturday, the low itself now moving away. So that chance for rain in the upper South Island, pretty short lived. Behind it, more of the windy westerlies, and in fact, once you get to Sunday, a big storm down here in the Southern Ocean, coupled with this big high further to the north, means that in the middle, the squash zone, the big windy westerlies, right over the top of Tasmania, Bass Strait, parts of Victoria, and then it kind of fans out as it comes into the New Zealand area. But you will notice the winds starting to pick up a bit on Sunday. In fact, they're gonna be a little bit up and down as we go through the end of the week. And then by Monday next week, that high pressure zone to the north, storm to the south, windy in between. And so severe gales possible for the South Island on Monday, blustery up as far north as Auckland, although we're not expecting damaging winds that far north, and eastern areas mild and dry. So this is a very typical autumn weather forecast for the next uh, week or so ahead. And we do expect the tropics to stay active as well. See, there's sort of lows like this one, and we've obviously got that cyclone, the ex-cyclone in Australia at the moment, that's a good thing. We see a bit of life in the tropics. We've got life down this way. All it takes is a break in these big highs and we'll get a rainmaker to come through. Hopefully for these very dry regions, you'll get that chance at some point over the coming few weeks. That is all from me for today. Don't forget our Pacific wide forecast is also out today. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.